Hey guys, I am Michi, Mad About Michi on IG and all social media platforms. And you guys have been asking me to do a wig class. So I have finally gotten around to doing my wig series and I'm going to be showing you guys all my tips, all my tricks to making the absolute best machine wefted custom wigs. So in this particular video, I'm going to show you guys the machine I like to use, my four favorite settings, my needles, and my thread. And this is what gives me the best results when I'm making my custom wig units. So my favorite sewing machine that I like to use is the Singer Fashion Mate. Now Fashion Mate makes a few different types. Um, I've used another one by Singer. I can't remember which type it was, but I like the Fashion Mate. And the reason why I like the Fashion Mate is because it's so much easier to do your bobbin. So bobbin can be really complicated if you are not a, um, a professional seamstress, which I'm not. So it was easy for me to thread my bobbin on the Fashion Mate. And this is available at um, Joanne Fabric and you probably could get it online, maybe like Amazon or something like that, but they definitely carry them in Joanne Fabric. So the four different settings on your Singer sewing machine are the tension, the width, the length, and your actual stitch. So my tension goes from zero to nine. And what your tension is doing is pretty much determining like how tight it's going to stitch. So I like to put that kind of loose. So right now what I'm using, what works best for me is a number three. So if you have zero to nine, then basically you want to have it on one of the lower numbers. So three works for me because that kind of loosens it up. So if you have your tension too tight, it'll kind of grab too much of your material. And that's one of the issues and problems that people have when they're stitching their wig units and their wig is too small when they get done. Okay, so I like that on three. Then as far as my width, my width goes from zero to six. And what, what your width is basically doing is just deciding how wide it's stitching. So if you put a, like if I put it on like zero or one, say like one, and I have a zigzag, it's going to just literally like stitch like this. So you have to be super neat if you're going to use one of the lower numbers when you're stitching. I like to put mine on six because with a weft in your hand, you want that stitching to be from one side of the weft to the other side, like just basically totally sealed within that stitching. So that's why I use a number six. So it can give me a super wide stitch back and forth, super wide. Now the length, the length on your sewing machine determines pretty much how fast it's traveling. Like, so if you, we have zero to four, I put mine on four or sometimes I'll put it on three and I can get through the wig unit so much faster that way because the stitches aren't super close. It's basically just traveling further up. If you have it like on one of the lower numbers, like zero or one, it's just gonna stitch really like sh in short pieces and it's gonna take you a while to get it done. So I just like my length to literally just go super fast. I know you guys are like, what is she talking about? But if you just get your sewing machine and you kind of like practice with it, then you will get an idea of what I'm talking about. What I suggest, what I suggest is like getting like a pillowcase, an old pillowcase, an old bed sheet or something like that, and actually just stitching it like a white bed sheet or some type of light color and getting some black thread and just practicing your stitches on that pillowcase or a bed sheet and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. When you change like your settings, you'll see the different types of stitches that you get. So I'm just letting you guys know which ones work best for me. And then as far as your stitching, the zigzag, hands down the zigzag. If you're super neat and super straight, you can use the straight stitch, but that's literally just going straight across your track. But if you use the zigzag, it's going back and forth, back and forth. So now if you're not always in line, in alignment with your footer, then at least it's still getting stitched in there. So the zigzag part, hands down, is what I like to use. The only time I switch from a zigzag to a straight is when I'm actually stitching my combs on. So I'll show you guys that in another video. Now, as far as my thread, 
I just used like a dual duty, all purpose thread. And this is actually something you could get from Joanne Fabric as well. It's for sewing. You have some people that use a different type. I think like a polyester or something like that stitching. I've never tried that. This hasn't given me any issues. So I have no reason to switch to a different type of thread. Now, as far as my needles, I like to use a denim needle. Now, the reason why I use a denim needle is because it's thicker. It's a more heavy duty needle. So you don't have to worry about your needles breaking all the time. Um, the sewing machine usually comes with like a standard needle, but I would blow through those so easily. Like they would break so fast because you have your track that you're going through. You have your cap and it was just too much for the standard size needle. So you want a heavy duty denim needle. So that's what works for me. And now I'm going to show you guys how my stitching looks on a pillowcase so you guys can get a general idea of what the stitching is going to look like when you're making your custom wig unit. Okay, so I have my settings. My tension is on three. Width is on six. Stitch length is on, I'm going to do it on three today. And then I have my zigzag stitching. My machine is threaded. Showing you guys how to thread a machine that's gonna be in a separate video. So I just have just this little piece of old pillowcase. So I just wanna show you guys what the stitching looks like. So this is a really super neat stitch on both sides. And that's what you want when you are customizing your wig unit. So I just also wanna show you guys like the single most important thing that you need when you are customizing a wig unit. And that is the mesh cap that you are using. This has been an issue forever. And I have solved that issue with our mesh dome caps for custom wigs by Posh Collection. And so the reason why you guys are having such an issue with your wig units is when you are stitching on, we're gonna call this the off-brand, I'll just call this the off-brand. So when you're stitching on the off-brand, the cap is already so small. So when you start stitching, when you start stitching your, your wefts onto your cap, because the cap starts off so small and tight already, all it's doing is getting even smaller every time you add an additional weft to it. So look how tight the off-brand is. You're getting absolutely no room with this cap. So now with the Posh Collection brand, and our brand comes in a small, medium, and a large. The small is a 20 to 21 inch. The medium is a 21 to 22, and the large is a 22 to 23. Now look at this. It's already bigger. This is a medium. This is a medium. So look how flexible it is already, and it's a bigger cap. Okay. So the off-brand, they're only giving you a regular size, and then I believe it's an extra large. So you're going from a too small cap to a too big cap, where the Posh Collection brand, you're getting a small, a medium, and a large. So this is the off-brand, and this is the Posh Collection. So you can see how much bigger the Posh Collection cap is. This is the off-brand. So look how tight it already is on your canvas head. So now as soon as you start stitching your wefts onto this cap, it's just going to get tighter and tighter. It naturally is going to get tighter the more thread that you're putting in there. So now you have absolutely no more room. So that is why your, your custom wigs are super small by the time you get done with them. Now let me show you the Posh Collection Dawn cap. It's a deeper cap. It's an absolutely deeper cap, so I could pull it down further if I want to. 
but look how much additional cap that you have. So you need this additional cap so when you are stitching your west on to your cap, then if it does, you know, get smaller, it's going to get small to fit. It's not going to get small to be too tight. So you naturally, when you're stitching on a sewing machine, because of the tension, it's naturally going to grab your wig cap. So that's why you need this additional wig cap on there. So even when it is grabbing, by the time you're done, it's the perfect size. And that's why we come in small, medium, large. So you can get the exact size that you need. You don't have to go a size up. You don't have to go a size down. Just measure the circumference of your head and get the wig cap that fits your head exactly. And you are going to get perfect results. This is the number one reason why custom wigs on sewing machines always end up too small because the off brand caps are absolutely too tight and they don't have any give when you start stitching. You absolutely need the Posh Collection wig cap. Okay, guys? And that's available at iloveposhcollection.com. So I hope you guys enjoyed this information that I gave you in this particular video. There will be so many more videos to come. So make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel or follow me on IG at Mad About Michi. This is going to be a great series. This information is going to scale you guys' business because people are wearing custom wig units. Custom wig units aren't going anywhere and they prefer the sewn units now versus the hand units. And with the sewn units, you can make so many of them much quicker and make so much more money. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next video.